good to be almost home. I also want to say a word about the situation in Israel. The more we learned about the attack, the more horrifying it becomes. More than 1,000, 1,000 innocent lives lost, including at least 27 Americans. These guys make, uh, they, they make Al-Qaeda look pure. They're pure, they're pure evil. But I said from the beginning, the United States, make no mistake about it, stands with Israel. The United States stands with Israel. <laughs> Secretary of State Blinken was in Israel yesterday, and Secretary of Defense Austin is there today. We're making sure Israel has what it needs to defend itself and respond to these attacks. It's also a priority for me to urgently address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. At my direction, our teams are working in the region, including communicating directly with the governments of Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and other Arab nations and the United Nations to surge support in humanitarian consequences for Hamas attack to help Israel. You know, we, have to, we can't lose sight of the fact that the overwhelming majority of Palestinians had nothing to do with Hamas and Hamas's appalling attacks, and they're suffering as a result as well. This morning, I spoke with the family members of all those Americans who are still unaccounted for on a Zoom call for about an hour and a 10, 15 minutes. They're, they're going through agony, not knowing what the status of their sons, daughters, husbands, wives, children are. You know, it's gut-wrenching. I assured them my personal commitment to do everything possible, everything possible to return every missing American to their families. We're working round the clock to secure the release of Americans held by Hamas in close cooperation with Israel and our partners around the region. We're not going to stop till we bring them home.